Okay, welcome to Okay, welcome to Pilates in Pregnancy again. So when you're ready, just grab yourself a mat and pop yourself in the middle of it. So just to go through what Pilates is again, it's all about posture and maintaining movement control. So especially when you're pregnant, your chest is getting bigger, you're going to be a little bit more kyphotic. So we're going to try and open you up. Also, as your palm gets bigger, you might find yourself arching your back a bit. So it's really important that we start to strengthen through that core and through our bottom as well. So as always, I always start with body setting in Pilates, so we're a little bit more body aware and a little bit better at understanding where our posture is. So place your feet together in the centre center of the mat, bring your feet out and then your heels to meet, and that's your starting position. So the three points of contact with the ground is your big toe, your heel and your little toe. So just press through that big toe, just add in the heel, and then just add in the little toe. And you should just feel your arch open up as you add in the little toe. So three points of contact, big toe, heel, and little toe. Nice softening of the knees. Then onto our pelvis. We're just going to do those pelvic tilts. So sticking our bottom out, tucking a tendon, sticking it out, tucking it under. Imagine you've got that bucket of water and you're just tipping some water out and you bring it back to the, the middle position again. Okay, once you've done a few of those, just try and find that middle ground and engage through that core. Just adding in that pelvic floor, so think about zipping from your bottom all the way through to your belly button, lifting that base, that floor, all the way up. It should be a nice lift up through there. So points, contact through your feet, relax knees, engage through your pelvic floor, relax ribs, open collarbones, think about a nice smiling face, really open up those collarbones all the way to the end of the shoulders. Lastly, just think about growing tall from the top of your head. So really think about if you've got a nice helium balloon attached to the crown of your head and it's just pulling you up, floating you up nice and tall. So pressure through those three points of contact, soft knees, engage your pelvic floor, open collarbones, really nice and tall. Good. Let's start on with the exercises. So we're going to start with an overhead reach, so palms facing each other. Imagine you're holding a beach ball. We're just going to reach above our head. Nice and open. Keeping your body dead still as we do this, so no arching of the back, that back's going to stay dead still. And make sure your head's not pushing through as well, so really nice and tall, think about that blue, and think about those open collarbones smiling. Okay, so we're just going to switch between two arm positions today. And this one's overhead reach and the other one's hundreds. So the other one, your palms face the back of the wall and you just tap so you're open through there. So to switch between the two, switch your palms to face each other, reach up, and your thumb should be pulsing towards the back of the room, then palms down to face each other, reach the back of ceiling, palms to face the back room, and pulse. Okay, so we're just going to start with those arms. So we're going to go up into overhead, reach thumbs to the back of the room, you're going to squat down into hundreds. So coming up, palms facing each other, squat down, palms face the back of the room. Up onto your big toe, palms face each other. Sit back, palms face the back of the room. Good, so we're just going to pulse in these positions. So sitting in back in this squat position, and we're just going to pulse our arms. This is called hundreds. So think about that nice long neck, open collarbones, engage through that pelvic floor. And we're just pulsing those hands to the back of the room. Good, now we're going to come up into overhead, reach onto our big toes. So stay up onto our big toes and we're just going to pulse our thumbs back to the back of the room. Keeping up on our big toes, engaging through the core, nice and tall through our neck. Good, then back into squats and pulsing the hundreds. Very sticking that bottom out and just pulsing through your arms. Nice long neck, nice open collarbones. Okay, coming back up, palms facing each other again, and pulse those thumbs back to the back of the room. Really pressing through those big toes, holding that balance. Really reaching with those arms, opening up those shoulders. Good, back into the squat again, and pulsing through those hundreds. 
Nice long neck, nice engagement. Good, and coming back up onto our toes and just pulsing with those up. So we're gonna make it a little bit more dynamic now. So we're gonna go back and coming up. So sit back on those heels, pulse the arms, coming up onto our big toes and reach. Big toes and reach, sit back and push the hands. Palms facing each other, palms facing the back of the wall. So reach up, push behind. Reach up, push behind. Really come up over those big toes when we're reaching up. Good. Next reach up, we're gonna hold and pulse those thumbs back again. Good, we're gonna hold the bottom of the squat and pulse those palms back again. Good, one more up to the top, pulse those thumbs back. One more sitting down to the squat, pulse those palms back. Nice long neck. Okay, we're gonna stay in this position. So in the squat, but we're gonna overhead reach and pulse those thumbs back again. If you're staying in the squat position this time, so thumbs facing that ceiling, push, pulsing back, engaging through those ribs, engaging nice open collarbones, pressing through those three points of contact with the ground. Good, hands down, just pulse those hundreds again. Good, and just standing up, shake yourself out a little bit. Good, really nice warm up. So we're just gonna improve, push that a little bit further. So this time when we go down into a squat, when we do an overhead reach, we're just going to slide one leg back and coming back. So slide overhead reach, drawing back into hundreds. Okay, so join with me. Really reach above your head, nice tall posture. Push those palms back as you draw that knee in. Good. The next one, you're going to keep the length out, so hold it there. And we're just going to pulse our thumbs to the ceiling if you want. You can also pulse that heel to the ceiling as well. If not, just hold the toe down and pulse the thumbs. Make sure your back's not moving, it's all coming from your bottom. Good, and slide back in again. Okay. Into a double leg, we're gonna switch sides this time. So as you slide that leg away, reach your arms overhead. As you draw that knee back in, push your palms to the back of the room. So slide the toe away and reach. Draw that knee back in and push your hands away. Reach and draw. Good, really engage through your core here, drawing in through your belly button, lengthen through that neck, looking straight forward, open through those collarbones. So point away as you reach, draw that knee in as you push. Good, and really stretch open. How far can you reach up? How much can you push behind, keeping your body dead still? Okay, on the next one, we're gonna hold so keep that point, keep the thumbs up and tap. So tapping those thumbs to the ceiling, tapping that heels to the ceiling as well if you want, or you can keep the toe down and just tap the thumbs. Really squeezing through your bottom, don't arch through your back to get this. Good, and coming back up and standing. Good, give yourself a bit of a shake out. We're gonna do one more of the single legs and then we're gonna roll down into the main body of the, of the Pilates. Okay, so sitting back into that squat position again, just hinging your bottom out, engaging through that core. Hands by your side to start with, and then we're just gonna reach overhead as we slide that leg, push your hands back as you draw that knee up. Reach, push behind, reach, push behind. Think about our posture as we're doing this. Think about the control through your feet, that square pelvis, nice open collarbones, so pushing that palms back, reaching to the sky. Pushing the palms back, reach the thumbs to the sky. Okay, and the next one we're gonna hold and pulse up with that heel and thumbs if you want, or just with the thumbs. Keep that body dead still. Good, drawing back in, back to the two legs. Switch to your other side, and we're gonna lengthen that leg away as we reach. Push behind as we draw that knee back in. Nice long neck, looking forward. Engaging through that belly button, through that core. Really reach tall, how high can you get those fingertips? How far away can you slide that toe? Keeping that trunk really nice and square. 
Okay, on the next one, you're going to hold back and pulse the thumbs and the toe into the air. Really squeezing that bottom, really squeezing your shoulder blades to open up. You can keep the foot down if you want and just pulse the thumbs to the ceiling. Three, two, one, slide back in and standing up. Really nice little warm up. Okay, so we're just going to roll down. So we're going to start with our spinal roll. So tuck your chin to your chest. Roll one vertebrae at a time, just dropping one at a time. Keep your bottom tucked in and slowly roll yourself down until you're on your hands and your knees. So in this position, your hands are going to be directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. First of all, we're going to lift our chest up to so feel like you're lengthening through your arms. Make sure you're looking straight forward, looking straight at that mat so your neck's really nice and long. And the first one we're going to do is leg pull in prone. So there's three levels of this. Level one, inhale to prepare, and you're just going to lift those knees two inches off the ground and hold there. Level two, you walk your hands slightly further forward to the end of the mat. Inhale to prepare, and as you exhale, you lift and you push up so your shoulders come over those wrists again. Good and coming down. At level three, you're just going to extend one leg with it. So inhale to prepare. As I exhale, you're just going to lift one leg with it. Okay, so you've got level one, lift. Level two, lift and push forward. Level three, lift, push forward and extend one leg. So I'm going to do the level two, so my hands are slightly forward at my shoulders. Ready, inhale to prepare, lift that chest up, and let's go. Let's push over, and back, and again. So inhale as you return, and exhale as we push over. Inhale to return, exhale as we push over. Let's make sure we're keeping that chest nice and high, lengthening through those arms. Let's make sure we keep that neck really nice and long. And we're thinking about drawing that belly button towards our spine, so engaging through that core. Good. So inhale to return, exhale to come over. Okay, next one we're going to hold. So exhale, come over. Just take a few nice deep breaths as we're in this position. Really lift your chest up, lengthen your arms. Nice long neck. Engaging through that core. Think about lifting that chest up, engaging through that core. Two more deep breaths. And coming back into child's pose, you can bring your knees nice and wide to fit your bumps through if you need. And just relax through there. Good. Coming back up, we're going to do one more set of that. So. Level one, just lifting those knees directly up. Level two, lifting over. Level three, lift over and straighten one leg. Okay, so inhale to protect, prepare. I'm going to do level two. Ready? And let's exhale and go. Inhale to protect. Exhale and over. Good, let's keep that chest high as we lunge over our arms. Let's keep that neck nice and long. Engaging through our belly button, drawing in our pelvic floor. Inhale, return. Exhale and over. On the next one, we're going to hold. So inhale, exhale over. And just take another few breaths here, just holding this position. Think about your posture here. Lengthen those arms, lift the chest. Lengthen that neck, looking straight down at the mat. And really pull your diaphragm with air as you take a deep breath in. And let it all out as you exhale, but keep that chest high. Two more deep breaths. Last one. And inhale, return. Good, back into child's pose. And just stretching that out. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the one leg kick. So starting with the shin again, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, engaging through your core, and we're just going to pulse the heel to the ceiling and then the toe. So heel, toe, and it should all be coming through your hip, not through your back. Don't want to see any bendy backs. It's a nice strong back, just pushing with that glute into the air. Level one is just as I demonstrated. 
Level two, you can lift your knees off the ground like we just did, and then pump. Good. And level three, you're going to go into that straight arm plank, bring the knee forward and drive the heel, toe, heel, toe. Good. I'm going to demonstrate level one for this one. So inhale to prepare, lift that chest up, lengthen that neck, and let's pulse that heel, toe. Let's go. Heel, toe. Keep that pelvis really nice and square. If you want, you can do level two for a little part of it and level one for some, so you can just lift up onto that knee to do that level two. But keep squeezing to it at the bottom. Keep the height really push into the air. Heel drive, toe drive. Keeping that pelvis square to the ground. Another five, four. Keep breathing, keep the length of the neck. Last one, and relax that. Good. We're going to go straight onto the other side. So level one, knees down. Level two, knees up. Level three, straight on plank. So again, I'm going to do level one. Inhale to prepare. Lift that chest, lengthen the arms. Exhale, let's pump. Heel, toe. Good. Keep that chest risen. Keep those nice deep breaths, filling your diaphragm. Nice long neck, looking straight down at the mat. And all the movements coming from that bottom, that hip, so nothing from your back. That pelvis should stay square to the mat. And let's go for height, really drive that heel to the air, push the ceiling away. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Let's get the height, really push for it now. Not at the expense of the back, but really from that hip, squeeze your bottom, stay strong through the core. Keep that chest lifted so those arms are nice and long, collarbones are really nice and wide. Another five, here we go, five. Four, really push that ceiling away. How high can we get? Really push. Last one, go for high. Good, and relax. And sitting back into child's pose. Why do we need to let that bump through? Good, we're gonna work our glutes again in the next one, but a different glute muscle. That's mainly your glute max we just worked on. This is more your glute lead, the one out to the side. So a little bit different this time, but still hands underneath those shoulders, knees underneath those hips. This is called a fire hydrant. So you're peeing on a fire hydrant, basically. <laughs> and you're just gonna lift that knee up, just like we do in the clam, to open up. But really important in this, that you don't rotate with your pelvis. That pelvis and trunk have to stay dead square to the ground, and you're just moving that knee out from your hip. So this is level one, where knees and hands and feet are all on the floor. Level two, you lift both your feet up, so it's just your knee in contact. Good. Level three, you lift the opposite hand that's working, the leg that's working to the back of your head. Lift it up and fire hydrant through. That's quite a hard balancing core one. So I'm going to demonstrate level two, so my feet are going to be in the air instead of down on the ground. Okay, so let's inhale to prepare, lift that chest, lengthen that neck. I'm going to lift my feet because I'm doing level two. And exhale, let's go, squeeze around. Really make sure you're not rotating that trunk, it's all coming through the hip. You should feel like you're doing that clam, that bottom squeezing together. The higher you get that knee without rotating the back, the more you'll feel it into your bottom. Engaging through that core, think about drawing your belly button in towards your spine, keeping that chest nice and high, lengthening through the neck. Come on, let's get that knee height all the way up, but keeping that body square. Another 10, come on. It should also be working the glute that's on the ground because it's helping to stabilise you. Another four, keep that strong pelvis, get the height. Last one. Good, and relax back into baby pose, really nice. Okay, not too much of a rest there. Coming back up and we're gonna go straight onto the other side. So inhale to play and lift that chest, lengthen the neck. I'm gonna lift my feet because I'm doing level two and let's squeeze up onto the other side. Try not to shift your weight too much over onto that standing leg. If you want that trunk nice and square to the ground, that neck looking straight down on the mat. Let's really reach that knee to the sky. How high can you get it without rotating your back? 
How strong can you keep your trunk as you open that knee? And breathing with it, remember, filling up that diaphragm, filling up that chest cavity. Nice big breaths in. Let's squeeze that knee for height. Come on. Lengthen through that chest, lengthen through that neck. And let's squeeze that knee up high. Ten more. Let's go. Each ten, just get a little bit higher, each one. Don't rotate that back. Last four. Come on, reach for height. You've got this. Two. One. Good. Really well done. Just stretching back into that child's pose again. Just take another couple of deep breaths there. Okay, we're going to try a new one today that we haven't done before. So it's in sitting. And so you might have a little bit of a bump in the way, so it doesn't matter if your knees are wide in this. It's normally done with knees together, but that doesn't matter. So first of all, we really need to tilt that pelvis forward. So we've got that anterior tilt. You can use your arms to support. So your chest should be really nice and proud. I don't want to see any of this really pushing up. You can bring your knees out to the side to allow your bump to come through as you do it. So our feet are just going to be lifted in this position. So either here or here. If you can, don't use your arms for support. So push them out in front. If you need them, just hold them there. So we're holding those knees up. So I'm going to come to my reach out in front. We're just going to do a one leg stretch. So stretch that out. So nothing should move except that knee is extending. So that pelvis is still staying anteriorly forward. Good, and our chest is staying really nice and high. If you want, you can do a double leg stretch, so you stretch both forward. But it's really important that we don't curl as we do that. Okay, so choose your position, either one leg stretch or double, and we'll get going. So hold your position if you need, or arms out in front. Lift your feet, inhale to prepare. And I'm going to do a one leg stretch and alternate. I'm exhaling with every time I straighten that leg. I'm keeping my chest really nice and high. I'm tilting that pelvis forward. My neck's staying nice and long. My collarbones are staying nice and wide. And I'm really reaching with my fingertips, opening up through my arms. So this is also something to do with your hamstring flexibility. So you might not be able to get your legs dead straight. I can't. That doesn't matter. Just really try and reach as hard as you can whilst maintaining this posture and sitting. Okay, the next one you're going to hold out straight, so hold that. We're going to do that overhead reach in front. Overhead reach in front. Really try and lengthen through that leg. Keep that upright posture. Good. Hand back in. Keep your arms out in front. And we're just alternating again. One leg, then the next. Keeping that chest high. Keeping that anterior tilt of your pelvis. That nice long neck, tall posture. Open collarbones. Reaching with your fingers. This time we're going to hold the other leg, reach that straight, I'm going to reach overhead and forward. Lengthen through that leg that's straight, don't let it bend. Keep that anterior tilt. Two more overhead reaches, two, one, and legs back down. Good work, straighten out your legs and give them a little shake. That can really work your hip flexors, that one. Be a bit tiring through there, so well done. We're just going to do a little bit of stretch to open them up now before we go into the side lying stretches. So feet together, allow your adductors to drop down and just holding through there. Arms up into this position, we're just going to do a spine stretch, twist. So deep breath in and exhale to rotate. Inhale back to the middle, exhale to rotate. Really try and push your knees down as you continue to do this. Inhale middle, exhale rotate. Keep pushing those knees down. Inhale back, exhale, rotate. Inhale back, exhale, rotate. Good, really nice. So we're going to go into some sideline ones now. So the first one is called a side kick. We can do, do it in one or two positions. The easier position is in sideline. So use your, your arm lengthened out as a pillow. Your head, shoulders, hips and feet should all be aligned. Knees out at 45 degrees. And the side kick is just lifting that leg up and you're going to point the toe forward and draw the heel back. So my trunk is staying dead still. And I'm just moving from my hip joint, pointing my toe forward, drawing the heel back. Point the toe forward, draw the heel back. Okay, so this is level one. This is really hard on your glutes. It's a nice exercise. Level two, 
similar to how we did the side crunches the other day. You're going to kneeling and drop yourself down. Hand behind your head, you're going to lift up and you're going to point your toe forward, draw your heel back. Point that toe forward, draw the heel back. But this trunk is staying dead still. Nothing's happening through there. And this leg is staying up that nice horizontal line, not letting it drop down here. Forward, draw the heel back. So I'm going to demonstrate level one today. So I'm going to extend that arm out, head, shoulders, hips, feet, all in a line. Going to lengthen that up. If you're doing level two, kneel and drop to the side. And same difference. Inhale to there. And let's go. Point the toe forward, draw the heel back. Good. Go all the way forward as you can control without your trunk curling. So don't want any of this movement coming from your back. All coming from your hip. Like you've got a pin in your hip and it's just hinging around it. Point that toe forward, draw the heel back, engage through that core, lengthen through that neck, widen through the collarbones. Just really point all the way forward, draw that heel all the way back. Point forward, draw all the way back. Hold it back here, so heels back. We're just going to do backward circles. If you're doing level two, good on you, that's really going to work your bottom. Forward circles. And last, let's just get the height. How high can you get this? We're going to go for 10. Don't squash your trunk into the mat. Keep that engaged. Get this leg as high as you can. It's going back and high. Five more. Get that height. Feel it into your bottom. Three, two, one. And relax. Bend that knee forward. Give that bottom a little bit of a whack to stretch out. So we're going to go on to the next side. I'm going to demonstrate level two this time. So level two is kneeling. Collapsing down to your side, hand behind your head, lifting up, toe forward, heel back. Level one, just as I demonstrated before. So knee out, toe forward, heel back. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate level two. So breathe into prepare, get into position, and let's go. So I'm raising, toe forward, heel back. Good, nice deep breaths as we do this. Strong through the core, don't let it move. Keep that really nice and strong. Get all the way forward, all the way back. All the way forward, all the way back. Good. Keep breathing with it, lengthen through that neck. Open through those collarbones. Don't let that leg drop, keep it nice and high. Okay, you're gonna do backwards little circles with your heel. Forward little circles with your heel. Keep strong through that trunk, don't let it move. Let's go for big ranges now. 10 more. Keep that trunk dead still. Last five, push the heels to the ceiling, get it open. Three, two, one. Nice, really good work. Stretch it out. Right, we've got one exercise left before we do some stretching. So not too bad. So we're gonna do a knee side plank. You can choose your level on this again. So to do this, you're going to come up onto your knees. You're going to squeeze our bottom up and push through our elbows. So level one, here's a knee side plank. So my knees, hips and head and shoulders all in a nice long line. Level two, we're going to come up into that knee side plank again and rotate. So we'll tuck under our chest, reach to the ceiling. Tuck under and reach. Level three, very similar, but we're going to add our leg in. So up to that side plank. As you tuck under, when we reach, our leg's going to come up with it. Tuck under and reach. Good. I'm going to demonstrate level two. So when you're ready in this position, deep breath in, prepare. As we exhale, push up onto our elbow, squeeze our bottom forward. Nice relaxed ribs. Lengthen through that neck, open, open collarbone. And I'm going to rotate because I'm doing level two. If you're doing level one, just hold that position. Level three. Bring that leg in as well, really squeeze to the ceiling. You can do a couple of level twos, a couple of level threes. Just hold the position for level one. Pick and choose as you're able to. Uh, push yourself, this is the last exercise. I've decided to go into level three. I wanna push myself for this last exercise. Open that leg, reach with the hand. Five more, let's go, and reach, tuck under. Reach, come on. Lengthen through that toe, lengthen through the hand. Two, one, good, and relax down. 
on to the other side. This is the very last exercise. So if you can do level three as well, get that bum really firing up with this. So one to our elbow. When you're ready, take a deep breath in and out, we're pushing up, squeeze our bottom forward. Let's get that length, life position to start. Reaching up, let's tuck under and open. Think about that nice long neck, open collarbone, engaging through that core. If you want less out in the leg, so let's reach. Good, spread your fingertips, reach with your toe. If you're doing level one, just keep squeezing that bottom, keeping that nice lengthening position. Level two, really reach with that arm, tuck all the way under, reach with the arm. See if you can do level three with me, at least for the last five, here we go. Reach with that leg, five, four, lengthen through that toe, three, really open up, last two, come on, go for height. Two, one, and relax down. Good work. Really good work. We're going to stay on our side for the first mobility exercise. So just taking a nice couple of deep breaths here. What we're going to do is slide that top arm over the bottom arm, draw it back like a bow and arrow, and rotate round. So just the arm openers that we've done before. Good. Just get your breath back to a Nice, relaxed pace, really deep breath in through your diaphragm and exhale round, really nice and relaxed. So stretching as far as you can over that bottom arm and then drawing all the way back and rotating the whole way around. Nice, slow, deep breaths. Good, when you're ready, you just roll onto the other side and hand repeat. So you're just gonna stretch that arm over Draw it back and round. And think about that breathing. Really slow that breath rate. Really nice deep breaths from your diaphragm. And as you exhale, just let yourself drop into that stretch as you open it. Couple more. Okay, so we're just gonna come into a be sit now. So legs just in a comfortable position for you. They can be narrow, they can be wide, wherever you feel is most comfortable. I'm just gonna stretch the side of our back. So take our forearm, the back of our forearm, and just pop that down by our side. Bring that arm over and relax it. And again, think about that breath. Every time you take a deep breath out, just let it relax a little bit more into the stretch. Good, let's go on to the other side. So back that forearm down on the mat. Bring that arm round. And as you exhale, just drop a little bit more. Nice deep breaths. So I've had a couple of people ask if um, I'm taking donations for this class. So I'm, I'm not doing this for money, but I have set up a Just Giving page um, for the London Air Ambulance. So if you do want to contribute to um, partaking in these classes in the... Uh, about page on the YouTube, there's a link to the Just Giving page. So if you do want to give, just, just pop whatever you, you fancy into there. Good. On that next side, drop that forearm down, hand over. And again, nice deep breaths, just relaxing into it. Every time you exhale, just drop over a little bit more. Good. One more onto the other side. Forearm down reaching over and just relaxing into it. It should feel a nice big stretch at the side of your back here. Maybe a little bit into that hamstring as well. Good, so when you're ready, pop your feet together. We're gonna to do a roll up. So gently straighten those legs, tucking that bottom under to start and then stacking those vertebrae one at a time on top of each other. All the way up, big shoulder roll back. Another big shoulder roll, just shake it out. Deep breath in and out. In and out. Good. Hope you enjoyed today. So we'll be back again next week, Tuesday and Thursday at 5.30. See you then. Bye-bye.